China's defense industry is developing at an unprecedented pace, producing larger and more capable warships than ever before. Recent satellite images of the nation's key shipbuilding base reveal that construction is well underway on the first Yulan-class landing helicopter assault ship, known as the Type 076. This vessel represents a major advancement in the People's Liberation Army's ability to project power beyond China's shores. In today's video, we will take an in-depth look at the Type 076 ship, which is set to become one of the largest amphibious assault ships in the world once completed. Let's dive right in. The very first example of a new class of Chinese warship, featuring a large open flight deck, is taking shape, according to a recent report from the US-based Center for Strategic and International Studies. Known as the Type 076, this amphibious assault ship is rumored to include catapults and arresting gear, which would allow it to support an air wing of uncrewed combat air vehicles and other fixed-wing drones. The Type 076 is being constructed at a shipyard on Changjing Island in Shanghai, linked to the China State Shipbuilding Corporation's Hudong Zhonghua subsidiary. Hudong Zhonghua has previously built the Type 075 ships, with three already in service and a fourth under construction. The construction site is next to the Jiangnan Shipyard, a major facility where the Fujian was built. According to satellite imagery analyzed by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, the flight deck of the new warship measures approximately 260 meters by 52 meters, covering an area of over 13,500 square meters, almost equivalent to three U.S. football fields, as mentioned in their report. As such, this size is notably larger than that of the U.S. America-class LHA, and the Japanese Izumo-class helicopter carriers. The Type 076 is set to be significantly larger than its Chinese predecessor too, the Type 075. It will be equipped to carry a wide range of aircraft and drones, as well as amphibious landing craft, and will accommodate over 1,000 Marines. In addition to its increased size, the Type 076 features expanded internal hangar space for more aircraft and a larger flight deck to facilitate more efficient aircraft operations. But what else do we know about this ship besides its size? The Type 076 will incorporate several advanced technologies. Most likely it will be equipped with a catapult system for launching fixed-wing aircraft, a feature not commonly found on amphibious assault ships. This catapult is expected to be similar to the electromagnetic aircraft launch system used on the U.S. Ford-class carriers, offering improved performance over traditional steam catapults. China's most advanced aircraft carrier, the Fujian, already uses this style of catapults, indicating that China is integrating this technology across its fleet. The Type 076 catapult trench will be approximately 130 meters long compared to the 108-meter catapults on the Fujian, though the exact specifications are still unknown. From the satellite images, we can also see that the Type 076 will include aircraft elevators on each side, most likely to streamline the process of moving aircraft between the hangar and flight deck. This configuration is expected to be more efficient than the previous design, which has a larger aft elevator and a smaller forward elevator that can obstruct the flight deck. These features enable the Type 076 to launch fixed-wing aircraft, which generally offer greater range, speed, and payload capacity compared to helicopters. At a minimum, the ship should be capable of launching fixed-wing UAVs, which are lighter and easier to manage than manned aircraft. Open source analysts have speculated that the Type 076 will operate the Hongdu GJ-11 unmanned attack aircraft. The recent satellite images from the shipyard confirm this speculation, as they reveal two mock-ups of the GJ-11 in a storage area. Using mock-ups to test deck handling before deploying actual aircraft is a common practice. The GJ-11 is reported to have capabilities for air combat and suppression of air defenses, aligning with its anticipated role on the Type 076. 
Let us know in the comment section below if you would like to see a full review of the GJ-11 UAV. The vessel's catapult, broader flight deck, and absence of obstructive elevators suggest it might also be able to accommodate manned aircraft. This would place the Type 076 in its own unique category, bridging the gap between amphibious assault ships and full-fledged aircraft carriers. But the air wing of the Type 076, even if limited to unmanned systems, will be highly effective. China has developed a range of advanced UAVs, including the mentioned GJ-11 stealth drone, but also others such as the WZ-7 reconnaissance drone and the Cask Rainbow UAV. In 2017, Chinese UAVs were seen undergoing catapult tests at a naval air base, suggesting efforts to adapt these drones for carrier use. Once operational, the Type 076 will be a versatile combat asset, capable of air operations, amphibious landings, and joint command for broader amphibious tasks. While the exact timeline for its completion is uncertain, the Center for Strategic and International Studies suggests it could be launched in the first half of 2025, further enhancing the PLA's capacity to project power in the Western Pacific, South China Sea, and beyond. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.